Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, everybody. I think this podcast would fit into the sciences and maybe the mental health. It's going to be wellness programs for police officers. Now, first, I flagged this article bookmarked as well before the recent issues with the police and the protesters. I think I might have bookmarked this well over a year ago. So this will be just a neutral reading of an article and no bias, no input in general, because I do have an opinion about the recent things and the attitude of police, but for now, this will just be me reading an article like I normally do in the sciences and uh, some of the uh, wellness uh, foundations for wellness. Now, the article is by Timothy Rufa, Wellness Programs for the Police Officers. To combat the health hazards that come with policing, individual officers and entire agencies are looking to wellness programs for police other th- and other criminal justice professions. It is no secret that physical and mental stress can have serious consequences for the well-being of a police officer. It shouldn't be surprising then to learn that researchers have found that working as a police officer can contribute to health problems. What are wellness programs? According to the United States Department of Health and Human Services, wellness programs are plans employers, like the police departments or correction agencies, can offer to their employees to encourage and promote healthy lifestyles. Usually they consist of incentives for healthy choices. They might also mean consequences for poor health choices. An employer might offer plans, there's a link here, to help members stop smoking, free gym memberships and weight loss programs to their employees. They may also include rewards like extra money or vacation days for officers who meet or exceed the health goals. In short, wellness programs are designed to keep workers healthy. The importance to promote wellness. Because of the physical rigors and stresses, and there's a link there, Associated with criminal justice work, police officers and correction officers can face a variety of health issues throughout their careers. Besides health issues, though, officers really need to be in good physical and mental health in order to do their jobs to begin with. Criminal justice agencies spend hundreds of thousands of dollars spending, uh, sending their applicants to physical fitness assessments, medical exams, and psychological evaluations. Once hired, though, That's often the end of the focus on officer health. In the meantime, many officers combine poor eating habits, physical and mental stress, and the fatigue that comes from long hours, overtime programs, and shift work. All that contributes to a deteriorating health and, consequently, a less capable, reliable workforce. Programs in the Police Departments The United States Centers for Disease Control cite multiple studies that detail why wellness programs make good business sense for employees. Specifically, they've been able to show that healthier employees tend to be happier, which in turn makes them more productive. Even more significant for law enforcement and correction departments, though, is the fact that improved employee health reduces absenteeism and on-the-job injuries. That means more people are coming to work and staying at work as opposed to calling in sick. Furthermore, if people aren't getting hurt at work, it means that not only are they able to continue being productive employees, but those employees have fewer liability costs that come with the -the on-the-job injuries. Perhaps more importantly, though, is the fact that people who work for agencies with robust wellness programs tend to feel better about their employer. They report a sense that the agency really cares about them, and because of that, they're more likely to keep working for the department instead of looking for jobs elsewhere. This can go a long way towards relieving the problem of turnover and employee retention in police departments. 
Why officers should participate. Officers should want to work with their agencies to promote wellness so they can stay healthy and live longer. Criminal justice careers are dangerous enough, there's a link, without the added problems of poor health. Officers should be interested in taking advantage of any program that can help them survive their job. Police and correction officers who remain healthy throughout their jobs are in much better shape to enjoy what life may bring to their careers. Wellness programs for criminal justice professionals can ensure officers enjoy long and happy retirements as their rewards for a good job done well. So, like I said, this was an article that came to my attention. I think it stemmed about a year ago from a conversation I was having with another incident. I'm not sure what it was. It brought to the attention certain things that were going on with the police. And I was looking into police suicides and military suicides and looking into the science behind it, the studies, the um, all the data that was there and understanding why these numbers were so high. I guess this could be important now. And for what's going on now with all the, you know, craziness that's going on, we're at the, it seems the middle of this COVID virus lockdown getting alleviated, going into different phases, and the numbers that are coming back are weird. We have protesters for police brutality and excessive force, the numbers that are coming back don't look good. I could sit here and play the side, yes. You know, peaceful protesters should not be fucking shot with rubber, rubber bullets and beaten. But you shouldn't be tearing down people's establishments and their work. This is not what this is about. This was about the core of the police officers. I don't believe they're all evil people. I don't believe... They go to their jobs wanting to do wrong. It may be something like this for promoting healthy practices for law enforcement officers. Uh, I think the site is careers. I don't even know what the site is. It's been so long. The balance careers. The balance team. I think it's the balance in that sense. So this is something that might be interesting to put out now. Uh, maybe open up some dialogue. Um of the mind that I think the reform has to come. I think there's too much craziness on one side and the other. There has to be some change made. It has to be quick and strong. So hopefully this helps. I think to an extent they're needed. Uh, it is a good implemented program in that sense. And it talks about alleviating the, well, they call it defunding, but it's it's really addressing what cops are saying. You know, we're getting calls for things we shouldn't be. So let's stop that and put the fund somewhere else. So there's that angle to it. I'm more neutral. I don't like seeing what happens on both sides. However, you give people a badge and... They work for the citizens. There should be a monumental effort to prevent these type of episodes and these incidents. And they happen too much. The data could be played with on both ends. But when it comes down to the numbers, I think people look at the propaganda angle of it. And they come up with the numbers about certain whites get killed more or blacks but they don't consider the group and the numbers so they're a minority so it's actually two to three times more likely this is more to say look you have wellness programs studies show they work let's start by getting police officers to enroll in them let's stop treating mental health as a stigma Let's give it uh, the dignity and respect it needs and deserves. Maybe the change is small. Maybe the change is in small increments. 
get some things done, but on the other end, there has to be some strong um, tidings. You need to protest. You need to, you know, stand up for what's right and what's wrong on both sides. I get it. But I'd like to see this type of thing make a make it make a change if you're gonna do these laws and i think there's one law about taking away they have protections in the court about their past you have to make policies like this where you have cops who have you know dozens uh, way too high numbers of incidents they should have to be enrolled maybe you give them benefits or if they don't i don't know anyway not getting to do deep of that. This was just a article I read. I thought it'd be cool to put out. I'm not really for or against any side, although I think it's bullshit what's going on. So I'm more towards the protesters angle. But that's uh, another podcast. This was Wellness Programs for Police Officers by Timothy Rufa. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe. Take care.